Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we will see what is the best chatbot for learning a coding or a programming. So nowadays, we know there are a lot of uh, chatbots like uh, ChatGPT, uh, Gemini AI or DeepSeek. So among all these three, which one is better to learn coding? Okay, this is only for learning coding. So which one is better? So just we'll start the session. <clears throat> so here I have taken uh, three different tabs, uh, one for ChatGPT, one for Google Gemini AI and another one is for DeepSeek. And now we need to give the prompts here. So I'll give the prompt a simple prompt. So factorial program in C. I will give the same prompt for all the chatbots. Okay, so first one thing we have to log in with your Google ID. So you can log in with your Google ID and then you can try. So I, am, I have given the same prompt for all the three. So let us check the result and we'll decide which one gives the better one. Okay, so let us start with the chat GPT. <coughs> yes, so it has given the iterative version. So the factorial of any number can be implemented in either iterations or recursions. So coming to the iteration version, so it has been given, I'm not moving in depth with the code. So it given a program in C, okay, this is in a C language. So iterative version and also recursive version in C. Nice. So it have given only the program coming to the chat GPT. Now coming to the Google Gemini AI, let us check what. So it is also giving the code in C language, first in a iterative approach. And uh, yes, you can see, yeah. And explanation was there. So here in chat GPT, there is no explanation, but in Google Gemini AI, we had a line by line explanation. After that, the recursive factorial program, it was also given and also the explanation, right? So the explanation was not <laughs> given by the chat GPT. And there is a one more factorial program with error handling for overflow. So third program, okay. So here also line by line explanation was given. Nice. Coming to the deep seek, let us check. So factorial program in C, so uh, calculate a factorial program. So it was given in terms of functions, okay. And also, yes, it given a recursion. And alternative approach, iterative approach. It has given uh, iterative approach and just given box at quick points, okay. So in Gemini AI, we got a line by line explanation. So this is a live example, okay, I'm not uh, just simply saying this is a live example. Let us go with a one more example, right? So let us check. Prime check, okay, program for prime check. I'll, I'll use a one word, program for prime check. Okay, so the same prompt I'll give in all the three. Yes, so here in the Gemini AI also I'll give it. In even in a deep seek, I'll give it. Now let us check. Now let us check with the uh, chat GPT. So it has generated the prime number program, a simple prime number program, and uh, it was also given the some sample output. Okay. Only this one, only program and output, a single program. Coming to the Gemini AI, so let us check. It was also generated in C, a simple program, but in a different way. As usual, it explains each and every line of that program. That's very nice. So it was also generated only one program, that too in C language, and explained each and every line of that particular program. Coming to the deep seek. So method one, basic prime check. Method two, optimized prime check. So it gives the optimized uh, uh, code. 
and also method 3 efficient per repeated checks so it has generated three different methods so checking of prime can be done in three different methods one is optimized and another one is a repeated checks and uh, the key points all are the key points what is the basic method what is the optimized method and what is the save method and we'll go with the one more program a quick and we'll finalize i'll go with the palindrome check okay now i'll try in python palindrome check in python the same thing i'll use here also palindrome check in python and in deep seek also same prompt palindrome check in python now let us check one by one so here palindrome check for strings or numbers so obviously the palindrome can be on strings either numbers so it has been given one program which is a string palindrome and sample out okay yes this is a string palindrome so for both it has been given right coming to the gemini ai palind palindrome check for strings basic string palindrome and explanation and similarly string palindrome ignoring case spaces and punctuations that's good because a string can be of a different cases lowercase and uppercase the mix of lowercase and uh, uppercase so ignoring the case spaces and punctuations given a code and explanation and see in the next palindrome check for numbers particularly this is for numbers that's nice alternative for number palindrome without string conversion so actually here the number has been converted into string and obviously the string palindrome uh, function has been called right string this one slicing and this is without string conversion palindrome without string conversion and the explanation so there are a different possibilities you can see here right coming to the deep seek let us check <coughs> uh, first method one string reversal so string reversal uh, there is the simplest simplest thing and we can check whether it is a palindrome or not next two point approach more efficient for very long strings that's very clear for a simple palindrome for a very a very simple strings that palindrome check will be simple but for very long strings this two point approach is efficient Good. next using built in functions so by using built in functions also we can check the palindrome and then the recursive approach by using recursion also we can approach. so four methods has been given here so here you can see method 1, method 2, method 3 and method 4. So these are the four methods. Right. So now you can decide which will be better to learn coding. So chat GPT or Gemini AI or a deep seek. Right. So actually this Gemini AI must be getting the some uh, subscription so after some prompts it may be closed we have to upgrade it and the same thing happens for chat gpt also but deep seek is completely a free of cost and you can use it but the explanation for complete program was given in gemini ai than the deep seek and chat gpt right so this is not uh, my opinion uh, lively we have checked the same thing for uh, different programs so we have given the three programs and we have compared uh, so that you can decide which one is good for learn coding right yes so if you really enjoyed the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much